Hello and welcome to another episode of Civic Bands. Please, I want to tell you first thing before we go into this conversation. If you've not listened to our first, our second, and our third conversation, <laughs> you are the one snoozing or you are the one losing out of big time civic conversation. Alright, so my name is Nancy Odemeku. I'm your host for today's edition. And yes, we're having someone that is gracing our studio for the first time. And what's the coincidence? It happens to be the first band in Q2. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause as I welcome Mr. No, should I say Mr.? <laughs> so, a round of applause as I welcome Mr. Olusheya Denuga. is a research and policy analyst with Budget Foundation. Thank you so much, Nancy. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming on board. Yes, yes you're our first guest for Q2. And please yes, en you. enjoy your, your tea, <laughs> minus the cookie, you know, plus the coffee. <laughs> All right, it's so good to have you, right? Um. So something happened a couple of weeks ago, like everywhere is scattered for Nigeria internet. What happened? I'm sure you're a researcher, so it's not news for you. And yes, we want you to be as comfortable as possible because you are going to help us to break down some things. As Nigerians that we are, there are some big terms that are difficult to understand. It is, you will not blame us. We are not to evil I want to that. So I think March, February, within thereabouts, the internet was the boss, you know. Budget padding, budget padding, budget padding. Anywhere where you look, budget padding. Anywhere where you see, ningi, 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 ningi. You know, we saw that, or well, it was, it made the headline that it was a 3.7 trillion naira budget padding, or trillion naira that was padded to the Nigeria 2024 budget. And it was not just something that maybe a CSO like budget spotted, it was actually one of the senators that flashed that thing and that is why i'm excited about this conversation because we get to understand okay how these issues come about what really are the terms that you are using because truth be told as at then many people would not really many nigerians still don't really know what budget party is and that is why i want us to start the conversation from so she if you want to explain it to somebody that a layman somebody that does not really know the in the nitty gritty of you know the civic space is not exposed to big big grammar big big words how would you explain budget party to that person? Well, in a layman's language, budget party is just a financial abnormality that I'm called. Ah, yeah, 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 using big English. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> we are not doing any. This is a big part, please. We cannot leave. Oh, right. uh -huh, yes, bring it down. Don't bring abnormality. King, what are we abnormally? <laughs> bring it down. Yeah, please help so us bring it down. Budget party, they talk about yes. the increase okay. when it happened be between process of when budget is being proposed okay. and when it's been approved. For example, now the fit also okay, the one we get this room yes. for one million yes. when the day under budget proposal. Okay. But by the time they come approval, yes. the fit also from one million, they don't inflate that to 1.5 million. Okay. So most times all these things now because of corruption and all these inflations, all this bad way they happen for this our budget. Yes. No, they beneficial to the citizen. Okay, so now make I follow you. Back. Let me follow you back to back. If in the pro, in the stage of budget proposal, the particular money for a road project, for instance, is one million yes. or one billion dollars, by the time the budget is now passed, it would have automatically increased to one point five billion. Where the point five billion now come from is what we don't know. Yes. And it was not there in the proposal. Yes. And they did not tell us that ah, they've increased so so. Yes. So, yes. Oh, okay. so you want to see. Some, some, some like that. And aside that also, you will see some of the projects that were not in the proposed budget. Yeah, by the time they approve, you start seeing some other new line items. So apart from adding money to a specific item that were already they in that proposed they will insert, new they will insert fresh, and, fresh things. Yes. But what are they doing? Why is this so? It, it is not a new thing that has been happening when we have Nigerian budget. I remember in 20, 2016, over 2,000 new inserted projects were detected, and which amount to over, 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 over like 481 billion in our budget for that year. And that, is, that same year, Yaya Kusa will be the DG then, of Budget Office was yes. sacked by Bwari because of, because of that singular Tijani. act, and he replaced her with uh, Tijani Abdullah. That, 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 even that year, they had to bring in Ben Akabuizi. Yeah. To be the special advisor on planning to the minister of budget and planning. So it has not only today, 
don't, don't be the guys, don't think. It's not a so it's even like, in 2018, a scenario also occurred that over 6,000 plus budgets line of action were being detected exactly. again. And for this last one, we just have to go with this budget yes, will be inside yes, now. Yes. Other budget with flat over seven or four seven thousand four something line item line item that were inserted and which amount to close to two point two eight trillion. People know the fear. So imagine that. And <laughs> when we see all these things, they are not beneficial to the to the, to the citizen. And when you look at our budget, for example, public sector that inflates this budget that is starting to grow, they have an envelope of 100 billion for their constraints projects. Now, most times, they even overshoot it. Because each senator in Nigeria has an envelope of 100 billion for your constraints that you have to yes. project that you think yes. will be beneficial for your constituents. But because of all this, amount, they still have to what? Go outside that. Outside the already budgeted already yes. project for them. So, all this needs to be checkmated. And this time around, it happens that it is now one of them that mentioned, that it. mentioned it. Yes, that's, that's even going to take me to the like my next question because you mentioned earlier that it's not to be today, this one starts. In fact, if you know Nigerian budget, you should. In fact, it's Nigerian budget, comma, budget party. <laughs> Nigerian budget, comma, slash budget party. Nigerian budget equals to budget party. It is impossible for you to see, that, uh, no, nearly impossible because we are looking up to better days. It is nearly impossible that you see a complete budget that, you know, CSOs like budget now analyze and they didn't find where it was padded. So what is the difference now between that one? Because this one actually eh, it raised a lot of issue. So why 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 did everybody sit up on this one to shine their eyes on it? The, the future are finding the budget. What really happened is when the budget was passed, as into law, as they approved budgets. So they published budgets totaling 25 points. Five trillion is not up to the 28.77 trillion that was. So what was missing? The budget breakdown of the government on an enterprise, INEC budgets, TED fund budgets, all this and the National Judiciary Commission budgets were not properly break down, which amount to 3.3 trillion. So that was what brought, I think that was what point Senator. The senator to mention that okay, it's amount to three points. Yes. Three, uh, three, three point seven, seven trillion. Yes. But to our findings, this the budget breakdown of all these other companies that were not at the GOE, the National Judiciary Commission, the National Assembly, the Third Fund, the High Net, they were not break, all this one amount to three point three. So when you add up to up, add up to the three twenty five points, four five that was total one that was published. Yeah. So it make up 28.78 trillion total budget. So what we were able to flag is not up to that because due to the, the second of the 7,447 oh, new projects. So we sum up everything and they make up 2.24 trillion. Okay. So whether the senator was right or wrong yeah. with the figure, yeah. there is still budget padding in exactly. the budget. So how do you think we can go about it now? Like what is what needs to change for this to stop happening? That is where the issue of transparency has to come in. Transparency. There should be transparency in the operation of projects. You have to involve the civil organization. Why do I say public oversight? Okay. Let the civil organization be involved. Let them view this project before you what? Before you pass, pass it. Pass it up or print it out and let them quickly what? Set all these things and make there be amendment. Then also the issue of whistleblower because some whistleblower will have want to know the reason. But yes. because they are looking at their their what their protection, they will be protected if, if the this thing come up. Yes. yes. So this and some of the things we need to what do so that we, we can bring it to the minimal stage. Yes. Because let me tell you in Nigeria, it's very hard to get a but when 
do the right thing at yes. the right time then we can start what when the loan is sitting at what monitoring them then there should be independent auditors also should be given the chance to check the budget let them audit what is okay this amount you are calling this project does it truly measure up to, measure up to what it is fine they, 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 they will give excuse as if uh, like okay you uh, do you know dollar exchange rate but fine do you know the budget has been the, the exchange rate has been to a particular amount yes irrespective, irrespective. like let it go so okay come yes. down it is where it is so they should also put that in mind that's why we need independent auditors not even internal independent yeah. auditors to Outside. come and look through our budget before they are brought and um, so I have two things right earlier you mentioned the case of 2016 yes where it led to the sanctions Dismissal. Well, yes, the dismissal. Yes. Apart from that case, and you know this one that we have in 2023, are there any other cases? So there was one in 2018 I mentioned also. Okay. There was over, over 6,403 6, sanctions too. Exactly. There is around 578 million wow. for 2018 also. Okay, so that one was huh? Yes. So the person that has to pay the price for that of 2016 was the DG. And Which he just came in, he only spent six months. And they dismissed and him. And they dismissed him, dismissed him because he was supposed to spend his just four years in yes, the office. Right. But he has to be dismissed. He has to be dismissed. That's what the fault. But that was not stop after that. That next one. He still, he still even climbed yes. from billion to change. Yes, trillion now. And, and we keep every year we see the insertion came in From 20, 2016 that I mentioned, there were over 2,000. Okay. In 2018, 6,000. Now in 2024, we have 7,000. <laughs> maybe if something is not done earlier, maybe by next year we might have over 8,000. And when you look at those inserted projects, you will look at this significant to the needs of the citizen. That's the question you should ask. Some of the line items. Yes, are they significant? You will see some of the line items on the project saying so so so, um, what will in so 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 place. But, um, let's say okay. For example, they might say okay. Um, installation of bow or electric um, solar just panel like or bow. Yes, yes. They will not mention the particular. They might just say in six. In six eight, 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 eight. So, you don't know the states. Yes. So how can you track such? Ah, sure you want to when they, 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 they never mention the exact location yes. where it's taken. You know when they say okay, we are sending okay fifty transformer to this uh, to Anambra. Uh, not easy. If you are a local yes. government, for example, now, and maybe you can easily trace that. Yeah, it's trackable. So, this is why I said if there is a location, you black and easily say, okay, ah, this, look, this project has not been what? What happened in my, in my locality? There is a road in my area that in the budget of the, of the listing, it has been signed, it has been what? Done. It has stated done, but nothing was done on that. It was written done. It was on the on the listing done and commission. But not even a stone was lifted was what lifted in that area. So tell me, and the budget was released for that. Money will also come. And money will also So we see even outside that we see projects that okay there has been an allocation for this year for the project on the on the project this year. And next year you will see the same, same project will still your call. And the price will have what? Double. Double. <laughs> That's Nigeria. So even if there are no instructions at times, there is what? Increase. In their increase in the amount allocated. Yes. So um, while you were giving us uh, ways that we can use to go forward, you mentioned opening the budget at the proposed stage for public scrutiny. Yes. But then I remember that the government did that. There was something dicey about it. The time that the budget was passed, the proposed budget was released. And the time that they did that public hearing was not, I don't know, I may be, I may be wrong. I don't think it was too, okay. yeah, it was not a good amount, a yes. number of time for people to really scrutinize. That's why. I also remember budget was supposed to make it some of the findings on that thing. And they did not give them up to five minutes. Five minutes. So yeah. how, they want, how can we move forward like that? That is why. They have budget. Because there are levels to public hearing. Organizations yes. Because if you notice this, the budget of 2024, they were so eager to pass this because they were, there is a 
a, 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 a benchmark that the previous administrator has set that okay, it's always for December. Past, before December. Yes, that's true. And okay, fine, you want to pass a budget at the approval stage before you publish. Let's give this uh, single organizations and all these external reports to what? To vet it. Yes. That is why you have to present your budget on time, then let the House of Assembly do what they want to do on time. Yes. yes. Then, you know, by the time independent organization vents the budget before, they will have they will have a copy of what they have. Some, some then, so by the time it is being published, if there's any other thing, to be small. Uh -huh. So they will not want to make it obvious so that people, the citizen will not want to look at ah, what is that part they are what? <laughs> The anti 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 social like normally say. Yes. So it will minimize drastically because they know there are some watchful eyes. Yes. And speaking about watchful eyes, so as we wrap up the conversation, how can citizens now come and play this watchful eye game? Because sometimes it looks like you are fighting for people that never even know that something is wrong. They don't even know the budget. That is why you know in the budget process, citizens are being called also to come out. Nigeria nobody. <laughs> no concern, I mean, you don't do like that since. No, we make a change. No, we make a change. Yeah. Let me tell you, the change has happened. He, our legislators are aware that, okay, these people are what? Most going those bomber to bomber. Yes. They will what? So yeah. let every citizen be actively involved. If you're not actively, actively involved, your generation that will come will suffer for it. So don't say, eh. Uh, I'm not concerned because everybody now the syndrome is Japa and when they go to other country. If you can save If those ones do not monitor their government, they are they are not worse. The system will not be good not enough be, for you to run. Not to run to yes. Yes. yes so true. we should also create an avenue that okay, after you might have gone there for years, you are still coming back home. To set they will say there is no place that home. So if the home has gotten to a deteriorated stage, then your life is not even safe. Because you are not going to have a good time with you. So it's better for you to do what you need to do now than run away from it. It's better for us to do what we need to do as Nigerian citizens now yes. than run away from it. Thank you so much, Mr. Shea. That was really insightful and a very short conversation. That's our new style, nice big part. We are going straight to the point and giving you what to, to back to back. All right, you've heard it. We've had um, we've had Oluwa Shea and Enuga. You've heard it all. The concept of budget padding, real life examples, and you know what citizens need to do about it. Because let me tell you the truth, you can only jack back to it. In fact, if you feel you save your flight money, and I say you jack out. You don't save your flight money, you day here. Shea's flight is increasing by the day. You day here. And the countries we are running to, which he mentioned, are only standard and have a good functioning system because people did not just sit down and let you know political office holders do what they need to do you know just to make monies and you know let corruption fly here and there so please let's do what we need to do let's live right by nigeria all right mr shay do you want to give us shout out yeah thank you so much for having me i i look forward to coming back here again to yes. my view yes and our citizen please let's follow them yes. we need to watch Okay. Bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. Mm -hmm. With that, we can have a better Nigeria. An interesting conversation on the concept of budget padding in Nigeria. We know it's not a new thing, but I mean, what do we need to do about it? What can citizens do about it to make it better going forward? Follow us on all our social media handles at BudgetNG. And don't forget to turn on your notification so that as Civic Bank is dropping, bono bono, you are the first person to listen to it. My name is Nancy Odimeku. It's always a pleasure to have you on our screen. All right, we'll see you next time.